G'day mates, welcome back to the channel, it is your captain speaking, how you all doing man, hope you're all doing well on this lovely lovely day, we're back, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets from 2002, dude, direct sequel to the first one man, and the first one was a banger, it really was, dude, I gave an 8.5, that's a huge score, that's a huge score for me at least, I don't know about the rest of you and your scoring systems, but that's, that's good, that's great, it's got me keen for this next one, dude, year two, year two at Hogwarts, witchcraft and wizardry, Dude, we're in for something special, man. These movies are already hitting, hitting right. You know what I mean? Like, we, I've only seen one, but it's already hitting right. So, dude, I've been thinking about this movie all week. I am keen as a bloody bean. Mate, let me tell you. Don't give me a rev up now, but I'm ready. I'm here. Let's jump in. Chamber of Secrets Part 2. Also, wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. Uh, let me not get ahead of myself. Hold on a second. Thank you for the support on the first video i think we're up to like 700 views which for me is really good my channel has been like dead in the water recently like i'm just not getting pushed through any of the algorithms not sure what's going on but some new people are finding the videos so if you're here and you just found me for the first time on these harry potter videos welcome thanks for watching with me love you thanks for the support kisses thank you thank you thank you and that's all I want to say. Thanks for the support, man. You guys know it means the world to me. Love you all so much. Thanks for watching with me. And dude, Hogwarts here too. Let's go. I can't let you out, Hedwig. I'm not allowed to use magic outside of school. That's right. Besides, if Uncle Vernon... I did not miss Uncle Vernon, man. I did not miss him. Not one bit. But she's bored. If I could... Dude, Harry's a little bit older, man. Just been a year, but the bloke's grown a bit, hasn't he? Who wants to be friends with you? Dude, Dudley, shut up. You should be a little more grateful. We've raised you since you were a baby, given you the food at our table, even as you have Dudley's second bedroom, purely out of the goodness of our heart. Dude, you've abused this child for the majority of his life. Let's fake facts. Stop talking shit. What is that? Dude, it's a, it's a bloody gremlin. What the heck is this? Dude, don't feed this little thing after midnight. What in the world? Dobby. Why is, why is he so hysterical? Just sit down, buddy. heard of your greatness sir but never has he been asked to sit down by a wizard <laughs> you've never been asked to sit down what kind of life you've been living dobby what is an awful thing to say dobby, don't do that dobby has to protect harry potter to warn him from what he must not go back to hogwarts school of witchcraft and wizardry this year come on he's not going to stay there with that shitty family oh my god this dude needs to stop hitting himself wait how does he know dobby has dobby been dobbing They've been writing him this whole time and he hasn't had any communication with them. Dobby, what are you doing, man? I, like, what's going on? Little bloody gremlin. Uh-oh. Oh, not the cake. Why does Dobby have a grin on his face? Oh, Dobby, what are you, what are you planning? Dobby. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's my nephew. He's very disturbed. Meeting strangers upsets him. OMG, Dobby is a troublemaker. Oh, not the bars on the windows, dude. Is this Nightmare on Oak Street or what? What's that? Shooting star? Is that a flying car? 
What, what is going on? The Weasley's pulled up. Dude, the Weasley's spinning Harry's block. Ratata. Rescuing you, of course. Now come on, get your trunk. Dude. We all need a friend like Ron in our lives, man. We all need a friend like Ron in our lives. Come on, stop playing. He's like, I'm gonna come pick you up. He's like, dude, I can't I can't come down. I live second story. He's like, say less, my G. I'll come up. The blind car. Oh, to get out of there, dude, Vernon. This guy is such a psycho. Vernon, you're such a freak. I do like his mustache, though. He's got a delicious mustache. Can't lie. Oh, please get out of there. Come on, Az. Oh! That's what you get, Vernon. You bloody ape. Dude, the boys. The A team just dipping out in the car. Oh, it's his birthday. Dude, happy birthday, Harry. I wish I had something to give you. What do I have? What, what do I have on my desk? What can I give Harry? You like tech decks, Harry? Huh? Hit and sweet tricks. Hit that Ollie. Dude, real question. When was the last time you seen a tech deck, man? These things? Dude, so much fun, man. So much fun. Love those. How wonderful to see you, dear. Dude, this mother, man. I don't. I forgot her name, but she's so lovely. She's so nice to Harry. She's such a good woman. Look at her. Love her. Love her. Mrs. Weasley. What a gem. What an absolute gem of a woman. I want to give her a hug. A big hug. She's bloody afraid of the boy who lived. I remember that girl. She was in the first one. She was bloody tiny. She's grown a bit too. Everybody's grown quite a bit in one year, didn't they? Sir, I'm Harry, sir. Harry Potter. Good Lord. <laughs> Are you really? Tell me. What exactly is the function of a rubber duck? Oh. The function of a rubber duck? I mean, take a bath with it? Maybe? Function of a rubber duck? What a, what an interesting question. Oh. oh, look, it's our Hogwarts letters. Oh. And they sent us Harry's as well. Hey. Oh, yeah, Harry. Doesn't miss a trick, that man. Oh, no. This lot Harry got his letter, man. There's only one place you're going to get all of this. Diagon Alley. Back to Diagon Alley. Harry's having trouble for my food powder before, Mum. What? What is this? Diagon Alley. What? Dude, teleported. Ronaldo's out of there. He's dust. He's gone. See you never, babe. Bye-bye. All right. Now to mind your head. Dude, that'll be bloody sweet, man. Imagine getting to work like that. No traffic in the morning. Save some gas. Dude. Pfft. See. Wow. Forget to speak very, very clearly. Diagon Alley. Oh, my God. He said Diagon Alley. It's Diagon Alley, dude. Even I know that. What the hell? Where's he gonna bloody show up? Jeez Louise. Oh my goodness. What the hell is this place? Oh my goodness. This place looks like the, the wrong side of the tracks, if you know what I'm saying, man. Ugh. Definitely a few undesirables walking these streets, you know what I'm saying? Damn, what you want? Get away from me. Um, hell no. Stranger danger. Get him away before I punch you in the dick. Hagrid! That's that boy! That's that boy! Dude, Hagrid might be one of my favorite characters. I know I've only seen one movie, but my top three favorite characters right now. Ron, number one. Hagrid, number two. I think Snape would be my third. Even though Snape's kind of evil, or fake evil... There's something about him, man. I can't shake the feeling. I really, I really like that character. Harry, Hagrid. Hermione. Gildory Lockhart. 
Ooh. Oh, he's a bit of a bit of a local celebrity, is he? Okay. Oh my god, Harry Potter is more famous than the bloody celebrities. Oh, the bad boy himself, Draco Malfoy. With my entire collected works. Free of charge. Oh my gosh, who's this little paparazzo at the front, bloody snapping all these pics? Is, is that guy like the TMZ of the of the witchcraft and wizarding universe? Oh my god, here we go again. Who is this? Lucius Malfoy. Lucius Malfoy, the father. You see, red hair, vacant expression. A Weasley. Tatty, second hand book. Lucy, the Weasley. What's wrong with this dude? Is he really poor shaming them? What is wrong with this guy? Punch him in the something. I'll see you at work. What a scumbag, dude. Lucius Malfoy. You're... See you at school. Oh. I do like um Draco and Harry's rivalry though. I do like that. I find it very enjoyable. But dude, that guy's dad is an absolute ass hat. If I knew that bloke, I'd have a, a a big conversation with him. I'd say, mate, the way you're talking to other people, that behavior, that's not on, mate. That is not on. We do not tolerate that kind of behavior anywhere. All right. And if he talks back, get my wand out, bloody expel the armors until his hair falls out. See you later. What the hell? They didn't go through the bloody platform. What is going on? Sorry. Lost control of the trolley. Did they miss the cutoff time? No way. They didn't miss the cutoff time, did they? No. The gateway sealed itself for some reason. The train leaves at exactly 11 o'clock. We've missed it. No. Oh dear god, not again. Wait, is he driving it? He can't be driving, he's too young to drive. And the muggles are gonna see. Oh dear god, this is no, no, no. This is not a good idea at all. Mate, if I saw Ron driving on my streets, bloody up there somewhere in the sky with that car, I'd say, mate, pull over. Give me your license and your registration. I'm taking you down to Vic Roads, mate. You're in trouble. Big trouble. Oh my god. This is... The amount of times in these one movie, one and a little bit movie I've seen, the amount of times these kids get put into danger, sometimes by other things, sometimes themselves. But nonetheless, kids in these movies are not safe. There it is, baby. Hogwarts. Oh, not this freak show. Hmm. This dude is so unsettling. Professor Dumbledore. Professor McGonagall. Prepare for trouble and make it double. Buy one, get one free. These two are always coming to help these boys. Dude, this soundtrack goes so hard. Neville Bloody Longbottom. Well, just leave him there. Right, on we go. Thank you. <laughs> just leave him there. He's sticky taping the one back together. Ronaldo, what's going on with you, buddy? Seduce you to your new defense against the dark arts teacher. 
Dude, the, the celebrity is a bloody teacher as well. What the hell? Gilderoy Lockhart. Sounds fancy. It's a painting of him painting himself. That's tough. I didn't get rid of the band and banshee by smiling at you. <laughs> this dude's cracked. Now. You're pulling bloody Neville by his ears. Why would you just release a whole bloody page of these things into the classroom? I don't think this dude is that good of a teacher. I'll ask you three to just snip the rest of them back into their cage. What the hell? Why is it always me? Great question, young man. Great question. I spent the summer devising a whole new Quidditch program. Hey, it's you know wood. Partner, you've got a new seeker. Who? Who is it? You're kidding me. See, Weasley, unlike some, my father can afford the best. At least no one on the Gryffindor team had to buy their way in. They got in on pure talent. Facts. You filthy little mudblood. Whoa. So Hermione's parents are both muggles. Is that a bad thing? Does one of them normally have to be a wizard or a witch? Let me know. Because I don't know what's wrong with that. Hagrid's a good man. Great man. What? Sorry? Why is somebody whispering to him? In that demonic whisper? Um... Who is doing this and why? Why is he the only one who hears it? Hmm... Suspect. Not spiders, man. Please, anything but spiders. I've never seen spiders act like that. I don't like spiders. Me neither. Chambers of secrets have been opened. Enemies of the air beware. What the flip? Mrs. Norris. You're kidding me. They killed the groundskeeper's cat. You murdered my cat. Wasn't him. No. I know exactly the counter curse that could have spared her. Shut up. Slytherin had built a hidden chamber in this castle known as the Chamber of Secrets. Hmm. So Interesting. The chamber is said to be home to something that only the heir of Slytherin can control. It a snake? Because Slytherins can talk to snakes. Maybe it's a snake. Look at him. Oh, back to the Quidditch Cup fields, huh? Why is it always Gryffindor versus Slytherin, though? Do, why are, do the other two teams just never play? Other two houses, I mean. 90 to 30? Dude, Gryffindor getting smoked out here. Oh, it's because Draco's father bought them all the bloody Nimbus 2001s or 3s or whatever the hell the number was. Dude, what the hell? Pay to win or what? Look at him with his my shit don't stink grin. Hold on, let me... <laughs> Do you smell that? <sighs> Smells like privilege. Again. Somebody's controlling that or something. Oh god, please. Put that broken wand away. Dude, Harry's got to get this snitch, man. He's got to do it. Dude, they're down like 60 points. Oh, damn. Oh. Ouch. What the hell? I'm surprised that thing didn't take his whole damn arm off. Come on, Harry. Come on, big has. You got this bloke. Are you built different? The big H. Every game of Quidditch this bloke plays, someone's trying to take him out of commission. What the hell is going on? Leave this poor guy alone. 
back here. Emendo. What did he just do? Okay, it's, uh, you can no longer feel any pain. And it's very clear that the bones are not broken. Broken? There's no bones left. He took every bone out of his... How this Gilderoy bloke got to become a teacher at this school, seriously, did they not look into him? The dude doesn't know what he's doing. He's walking around like a bloody headless chook. The bloke is not fit to be teaching children, maybe even be around children. The dude's an absolute freak. Hello. Dobby. Got the Dobby did that? Yes, sir. Why? Tell them Hogwarts is no longer safe. What? Chamber of Secrets has indeed been. Who? It has to be somebody from Slytherin. Was it Draco? Moaning Myrtle. Who? Moaning what? Moaning Myrtle. Is that a ghost? Who's moaning? A dead student? What? I didn't expect you to know me. Who would ever talk about ugly, miserable, moaning, moaning Myrtle? Whoa, that's some negative, negative thinking right there. You gotta be more positive, darling. Self-love, you know, that's number one. No, I don't want Snape could have opened that chamber too. He is Slytherin. The head of Slytherin. Snape is about to cook Gilderoy. He's about to cook him. Watch this. He's got to one-shot him. Knew it. Dude, bloody Snape should be teaching this class. Not bloody Gilderoy. Oh my god. Oh. Here comes drama. Scared, Potter. You wish. You wish. Two. What is he doing? He's a bloody cheater. I never liked Mel forever. Uh oh. Interesting. Harry can talk to snakes. The language of the serpents. Damn. Now Snape knows, though. Hmm. Hmm. What are you gonna do with this information, Snape? Salazar Slytherin was a powerful mouth. He could talk to snakes too. Wow. Now the whole school's gonna think you're his great 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 grandson or something. Well, maybe he is. Maybe he is. He has to have some connection. He definitely has some sort of connection to Slytherin. Remember the sorting hat? It wanted to put him in Slytherin, it did. Not this again. Not the spiders again. Yuck. Dude, I bloody hate spiders, mate. No, no, no. I know what you're thinking. Hey, I know what you're thinking. You must think, hey, dude, don't you live in Australia? Don't you have like every species of spider there known to man? Yes. And I'm scared of every one of them. God damn it, I hate spiders. Ugh. I sell these with a simple sleeping draft. Simple, but powerful. Oh my God, they're going to roofie those two boys? Dude, Hermione Crosby or what? They don't find it strange that there are cupcakes just floating in the middle of nowhere. Dude, these two goons are not very clever. Bloody, what's her name? Krabby Patty and uh, Gargoyle. These two blokes. They're not on it. Why are you wearing glasses? Uh, I'm reading. Reading? Mm -hmm. I didn't need to read. <laughs> oh, goodness. The Weezy's were pure bloods. The way they behave. They're an embarrassment to the wizarding world. All of them. This guy sounds like he doesn't have any thoughts of his own. His father just tells him how he feels. And then Draco's like, well, I guess I feel that way too. You gotta be, be able to form your own opinions, man. Good one, Goyle. You're absolutely right. Sink Potter. And people oh my God. that he's the heir of 
rest of the room? Who thinks that? Dude, I just love his disdain for young Harry Men. It's just, it's funny. It was cat hair I plucked off Millicent Bulstrode's robe. Damn, she's a furry. What is this? Black book. The death note. It is the death note. It's empty. What the hell? Tommy Riddle. Hmm. Fifty years ago. The person responsible was caught. Is there something you wish to tell me? He loves asking people that. Nothing. But Tom's gonna try and find out who did it, eh? Damn. That was fifty years ago. Hagrid opened the Chamber of Secrets fifty years ago. Fifty years. Damn. Tom Riddle must be old now. Been setting anything mad and hairy loose in the castle lately? Mad and hairy? You wouldn't be talking about me, though, would you? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Who the hell ransacked his room? Tom Riddle's diary is gone. Wow. All right, listen up. Don't tell me they got Hermione. Hermione. No. There is some sick son of a gun on the loose and he needs to be caught. Damn. Damn, Hagrid got the blicky. He is on edge. Cornelius Fudge. Minister of Cornelius Fudge. Bad business. The Minister of Magic. Damn, this dude's like the big cheese. The head honcho. Take me where, not Azkaban prison. I'm afraid we have no choice. You're going to take Hagrid to prison? He hasn't done it. Oh, Lucius, of course he has his fingers in this pie. This is an order of suspension. You're kidding me. They're going to lock up Hagrid and suspend Dumbledore. Are you insane? You will find that help will always be given at Hogwarts to those who ask. Does he know? Dude, Dumbledore too smooth with it. Hold up. Fudge. Fudge. The dude sounds delicious. Disgusting. Why spiders? <laughs> Why didn't Mickey follow the <laughs> <laughs> Oh goodness. Ronaldo. Always his head's always in the right spot, isn't it? Oh no no no! What is this? Hagrid never opened the Chamber of Secrets. Who was it? Then you're not the monster. An ancient creature we spiders fear above all others. What the hell does a spider fear? None is more deadly than the basilisk, capable of the basilisk. Instant death awaits any who meet this giant serpent's eye. So what is a snake? Spiders flee. Is a snake. It's a snake. That's what I was saying. Who is it that the monster's taking the love of? Ginny Weasley. What? One sister? Are you kidding me? This bastard snake. Pop its head off. In the chamber forever? What? He's running away. My books wouldn't have sold half as well if people didn't think I'd done all those things. What a fraud! A fraud. Yes. You could have shared this to be sixty feet long. Or more. Sixty feet long? Are you kidding me? What's this dude doing now? How you two tragically lost your minds. This dude is a piece of work. So He's got Ron's bloody cracked, cracked wand. He's gonna bloody. Do it, do himself. He's gonna do himself. That cracked one finally came in bloody handy after all this time. Odd sort of place, this, isn't it? 
<laughs> Do you live here? <laughs> no. Really? <laughs> Holy smokes. Ronaldo just clocks the dude. Who is that? Tom Riddle is still alive? What do you mean still alive? 50 years, he hasn't aged a day. But only just. What the hell is he still doing down here? A memory. Preserved in a diary for 50 years. Oh, he's a memory. He's connected to that um to that diary, is he? Ginny, who wrote the threatening messages on the walls. What? Because I told you to. And she was, shall we say, in a kind of trance? He used her. Still to finish Salazar Slytherin's noble work. Noble. Right. But a baby with no extraordinary magical talent was able to defeat the greatest wizard of all time. How did he escape with nothing but a scar while Lord Voldemort's powers were destroyed? He's a Voldemort acolyte. Voldemort was freaking... Dude, he's a Voldemort fanboy. What the hell? Why is he writing his name? What? You're the heir of Slytherin. No. No way. Is this who Voldemort grows up? To become? He grows up to become Voldemort? That's Voldemort young? What the hell? The Phoenix! Dude, I can't believe Voldemort was a bloody student at the school. What the hell? He sent you a witch's hat? Come on, Dumbledore. We need a bit more than that, buddy. Oh, dear God. Dude, that is a bloody sea serpent. Treacherous. Dude, that's insane. Dude, this CGI for 2002 is top tier. That thing looks bloody good. Holy smokes. Oh, oh, the phoenix, going for the eyes, dirty boy, that bird blinded the basilisk, dude, the phoenix ain't playing around, dude, come on, you cannot tell me that doesn't look so bloody realistic, that looks so good, come on, what the hell, is it conjured a sword? Dumbledore, the gift that keeps on giving. He did it! Oh! Oh, we got stabbed by the fang! Oh! Dude, Harry goes through it, man. Every movie at the end, it's just him standing versus the big bad. How much does this poor boy have to endure? Come on. Yeah, what now? Tom Riddle. If he destroys the book, it'll destroy the memory of him. Stop. No. It's bleeding. Stop it again. Voldemort's plans fooled once again by the boy who lived. Wow. And Ginny's alright too. What's wrong is that Phoenix? Carrying four people. There is sufficient evidence to have you both expelled. Therefore, it is only fit. He's gonna say something very nice. That you both receive. Special awards for services. 
They always do this. And I love it every time. If I'm not mistaken, Eric, he transferred some of his powers to you the night he gave you that scar. Oh. Oh my god, why are you here now? Dobby. Dobby! You little gremlin looking son of a gun. Lucy, several of them were under the impression that you would curse their family. Lucius? To suspend me with a false step. Wow, Lucius is dirty. Take your time. My sole concern has always been and will always be the welfare of this school and of course its students. Yeah, right, Vegemite. Shut up your ass. Master has given Dobby a sock. A sock! That means he's free! Harry is too slick with it. Lucy, she got outplayed by a child. Okay. What are you doing? Wow. Lucy's just got his shit rocked. Your parents were meddlesome fools, too. Mark my words, Potter. When they sue. What is wrong with you? Hey, a girl is back. Oh my god, I love these three. Damn, our boy's out of prison. No jumpsuit for our boy Hagrid. There's no Hogwarts without you, Hagrid. That's a fact. Oh hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. One more time, let me give it up. Damn. What a film, what a film. Ooh, alrighty. You know what time it is? Outro time. I'll see you there. Alright, man, there you have it, dude. Harry Potter. And the Chamber of Secrets, 2002, what are we thinking? I'm thinking, on a rating scale, I think we give it the 9 out of 10. Why not? Dude, it was better than the first one. Agree or disagree? I don't know. I, I thought it was better than the first one. The first one was really good, but this one was, I think, just a little bit better. But either way, man, dude, really good stuff. I think next week I'm going to do number three. Uh, what's it called? Pri I think it's Prison of Azkaban is number three. So I think we're going to do that one next week. I think we might keep the Harry Potter train just rolling. The Hogwarts Express, we're just going to keep it rolling. It's just so much fun right now. I'm really enjoying it. Let's just keep it going. Um, other than that, dude, not much thoughts. Great movie. Can't believe Tom Riddle was Voldemort. I was like, WTF, what the hell's going on with that bloke, mate? I was out of it. I was like, what is this? I couldn't believe it. I couldn't, I, I couldn't recognize myself. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. If you watch this whole thing, I appreciate you. I love you. If you haven't subscribed yet, drop it. Drop a comment. Tell me what you're thinking. Let me talk to you. And that's about it, man. I'll see you in the next one. Love you. Take care. Stay safe. Bye.